And this ischemic pressure is a drill that's meant to help you control the barrel. What we want to do in this drill is we want to make sure that the barrel never drops lower than the ball on our first swing, which we call a missed swing. We are purposely keeping that barrel above the ball. We've got the tee set up here for a strike high in the zone. The second swing is going to be a swing where we're going to intentionally keep the barrel in the very top of the ball and try to skim the surface as lightly as we can. And then the third swing in the sequence is where we're going to try to cut that ball in half and hit ourselves a rising line drive. The reason why we work on this drill is because the most effective pitchers over the years, the pitchers that you have to beat to get to the state tournament, have been the kids who can throw that screwball, that rise ball, that pitch that has the velocity enough to elevate into the zone. The barrel is a heavy object. It wants to go down. That's why those pitchers are effective. So we want to work on drills that help us remember how to control the barrel. So miss it, skim it, crush it. First swing is miss it, and the barrel should never go lower than the ball. Second swing is skim it. I want to just try to touch the surface of the top of this ball. If you have a partner here, great. They can feed the ball for you, but if you're by yourself, just do the sequence. Then the third swing is to try to hit that rising line drive. So miss it, skim it, crush it. Work on controlling that barrel. 